Craig Horton. Please leave me a message and let me know how I can assist you or dial 221-6555 for further help. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press pound for more options. Hey, Craig, it's Way- William here. 970-825-442-970-4125-463. Yeah, so I got your little email there. Um, I need some case numbers. Uh, obviously, you guys have physical cases, right? Uh, I got to go over my audio of what I reported to you and compare it to what you actually wrote down. Um, I'm really sorry to report this to you, Craig, but <clears throat> you really violated some internal affairs policies here. Uh, you are allowed to investigate crimes uh, that don't have anything to do with my guilt or innocence. I reported to you felonies. I'm really disappointed. Uh, but I knew full well going in that um, it's like bowling. Like I said, I'm going to take out as many people as I need. You do realize that I have other jurisdictions that pull this same crap on me all the time. And we, we just move on. Uh, uh, we, we go up the chain and sometimes we actually get through to the right people. Uh, sometimes there's just more corruption up the chain. So, um, you know, we're, we, we don't care. We're not surprised that, you know, you're, you're going to try and stick up for your dirty cops. Uh, but... Truthfully speaking, we, we really just want your job at this point. So if you're, if you're not going to do anything uh, constructive um, with your uh, investigating here, if you're just going to flatly deny claims like getting, saying, two leases in trial and him claiming that the Parks Department is the official source for boundaries and that the map that was provided to him went curb to curb is the official boundary map of Jefferson Park. Yeah, if you can't see that those are lies or fabrications... By all means, throw yourself under this same bus. Whatever. I just want some case numbers at this point so that I can keep going down my investigation so I can keep uh, getting the evidence I need to release all this crap to the public at this point. So, um, uh, because, you know, quite honestly, Craig, I think the jury deserves to know that the official source for boundaries is not the Parks Department. And I'm pretty sure you guys have the capacity of acknowledging that as not within your policies. So, pr- pretty obvious there, man. Is the Parks Department the official source of boundaries, or is it not? Uh, I already talked to Mike Calhoun in that department, Bud Bradyhoft, uh, Steve uh, Kukowski, or something like that. Uh, I have all audio of all of them uh, actively denying uh, that assertion that they're the Parks Department uh, source for boundaries. And also that that Linden Street sidewalk is, is park. Uh, Bud was like, no, I thought that was public right there when I pointed it out to him um, going over the uh, case went on. So, uh, you know, whatever you think you are, uh, didn't uh, have to work on with this case, uh, go right ahead. You know, we, you do realize that we don't actually go to you guys and for like that we're destitute and we don't know what else to do. We, we do it for good faith and also to possibly remove more corruption. Because uh, if, if you don't know what probable cause is, then that's the point. You're... You're not able to police yourselves. So, um, anyways, case numbers. Please, just give me some freaking case numbers. Email them to me. Just leave me a voicemail. Just do something. I, I'm stuck down in Longmont right now at the moment. My van broke down down here, so um, I can't get up to the police station or, you know, whatever. I'll try and make it in person someday. Um, I guess I could try and call their dispatch, but I've done that before, and you guys have just sent me back up to Internal Affairs, so... Here I am with you again, once again, here, Mr. Craig Horton. I need my case numbers. I made reports. So, thanks. Uh, Real quick, though, I got to throw this out there just because, you know, uh, it's still going. Um, Fence goes up in the right of way, non-controversially. City manager's office doesn't have any problem with that. They know it's right of way. They send out a surveyor. They look at their 143-year-old plats. They look at the Robinson Pearsall projects. They refer to their 1742 definitions as right of way. They refer to their 2384 uh, crime of putting a fence without a permit. So let me just explain probable cause to you. Since based upon conversations, I really, really, really don't think you actually know what it is. So um, really basic, objectively reasonable cops would always be stuck arguing down public property. You can't think that that might be pub- private property because of the nearby business and your knowledge of the area, uh, that you're creating a controversy where there is none, man. Um, ready? Here's all the options. Now, and I knew this going into it b- beforehand, so keep in mind that I'm not racketeering as some criminal that's trying to get out of it. Real basic. Either I'm trespassing behind a fence 
that's in the right of way. Oh man. Either I'm trespassing behind a fence that's in the right of way with a permit, or I'm not trespassing behind a fence that's in the right of way without a permit. There's nothing to do with private property here. That's why you guys don't have probable cause. You're literally fighting for the wrong team. So I had to get that out because you guys are so stupid.